Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma. And also, welcome to our very first day of our sneaky peeks for our 99th edition release. I can't believe we're like one away from 100. Um, all I know is it went by super duper fast, and I still can't believe I reached 100. But before we get started, I have been MIA for the fat past few weeks because um, we had moved for those of you who have been following me you know I have two boys one's a junior in college and the other one just started college in fall of 2019 well he was going to a local college but unfortunately he didn't make the baseball team so um, another opportunity presented itself so I'm super excited that he actually transferred to a different college where he will be playing baseball um, and I'm so happy for him and I'm so proud of him that he didn't give up on his dreams um, he was gonna wait until he was gonna finish off this um, you know this year off at this college but and then go next year but I said you know what you don't want to wait if you're interested now go now because otherwise next year they probably forget about him you know what I'm saying so we packed him up and gone that's why I didn't I got back last weekend I could have gone on this week last week but I didn't want to because it was it was rough because I knew if I would have started talking about it, I probably would have been start bawling all over again because Lord knows I shared tons of tears because you know it's like I'm so used to having them with me Yes, I'm, I'm being that I am close with my boys. He's only two hours away, by the way. And I know some of you are probably saying, that's nothing. But to me, it is. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we packed him up, moved him, stayed with him for like four or five days just to get him all settled in his apartment. And luckily, he's actually staying with three teammates. And these three teammates are surprisingly teammates that he has played baseball with over here since T-ball. So I'm super duper excited. He has a really nice place. So I'm so happy for him. But, and he surprised me this weekend. So I'm so excited he did come by to visit and to, you know, get some more things. And I kind of did a little bit of meal prepping for him, even though he does know how to cook now. Um, he has a couple of days where he has double practices. He has double practices every day, but I figure I'd help him out a little bit. So on those days where he's extra tired, I could, you know, help him out with the food situation. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. That's why I haven't been on. It's been the whole month of December, January. Uh, actually, I should say November, December was super busy just trying to get him prepare myself <laughs> um, and get him ready to go. So anyways, that's basically where it all everything has been in my life so um anyways i have a brand new set that my team and i our we are showcasing today i love it because i always use these and i should be using them in real books i should be reading real books but I actually i read recipe books i figure that's almost the same right um i always use bookmarks so i have a brand new stamp and die set called always love to read it comes with four large sentiments, um, and I'll show you one of them that I did, along with um, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, coordinating dies to go with it, okay? So, um, before I show you the actual, let's see, project, I'll go ahead and show you the dies. Um, I won't show you the stamps because those are a surprise, okay? I have to have something for a surprise for the release. Everything we will be showcasing this week will be available for purchase this Friday. Um, let's see, that is on Friday, Feb no, January 17, 2020 at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, okay? So I'm going to show you really quick. This is our bookmark here, and it comes with these four there's a little outline and um, the letter read um, and then there's a little overlaying heart that you put there and I'll go ahead and I'll show you how this works so I made a couple already I made the one that says read right here um, so this is one of them let me go ahead and grab a book here so you could see all right so basically this there's two ways you could do this you could either Put it like, see, there's a little, there's a little cut right here. Now, don't think it's broken, okay, everyone? So, it's not broken. So, you could either do it like this, okay, and then you close your book. 
and it looks super cute just like that or you can put it the opposite way um, you could do it like that okay or like one of my design team members did what she did was she it came out so cute what she did was she actually made a little hole there and then she made um like a little tassel like and then this way you don't have to do that you could just go ahead and just put it in like that and the little tassel will hang over super cute you'll see that um you'll see it you know when you go through all of our blogs okay so that is one of them right there um, and then here goes one with one of the sentiments sorry my, my my night is all but I love this one I think it's super cute I'm actually gonna make this set for a teacher that I know um, she loves loves to read and I'll I can't wait to show you that on Friday for the blog hop because it's gonna be super cute the way I package them up okay so that is a second one that I did and I'm going to go ahead and put one together for you so you can see how super simple it is. This paper that I am using is, let's see, um, here it goes right here. It's called Dress My Craft Whispering Love. Super love, love this. I got it from scrapbook.com. Um, so I'm, I went ahead and I cut this out. So you can see right here, you don't even have to use this heart if you don't want to. If you just want to make some quick, super simple, you could just go ahead and just keep it as is. You know what I'm saying? And just go ahead and just put it like that. You don't even need that layer. Okay? I mean, that's how simple it is. But I figured, why not put a layer on here, right? So all you have to do, you can pop it up or you could just put it straight down. I thought I would go ahead and just... Uh, adhere it straight down on here. So let me go ahead and grab my tape gun. Let's see where did I put it? Oh, here it goes. Um, okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and just grab my tape gun here. And then just adhere this heart. Super simple. The, like I said, perfect gift for teachers. If you're a teacher, perfect gift for your students. Um, because there is a sentiment, I think, let's see, is there a sentiment? Let me make sure before I tell you. Yeah, there is a sentiment that says, always love to read. Now, what teacher wouldn't want to tell your student that, right? Okay, so there it goes right there. You see how it has that little cut line there? And then all you have to do, okie dokie, so let me take that one out. Okay. And then you could just go ahead and put it in your page, save your page, and voila, a super cute bookmark. And I'm in love with these. I'm super excited. And I love them how you can make them by using just different pattern papers. You can make all different, you can make boys. You can make, you know, get some cute little, you know, younger kids um paper you know what i'm saying i really love the way these came out um super love these so that is it for today that is our sneaky peek for today my friends um head on over to my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my amazing team i cannot wait for you to see how they use this um go ahead and take a look at their um i will have links to my uh, to each one of their blogs on my blog go ahead and visit their blog and don't forget to leave your comments on all of our blogs for a chance to win um I'll, one lucky winner will win this entire set and i will announce that winner on my blog tomorrow morning um keep in mind that i will contact all winners um at the end of next week okay so just so you'll know so just keep an eye on my blog so you can know if you're the lucky winner or not um, so that is it, everybody. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Have a fabulous day. And I will see you all back here tomorrow for day two of our Sneaky Peaks for our 99th edition release. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye.